lovely people good morning good afternoon good evening good night welcome to my youtube channel my name is jen this is the first time that you are laying your eyes on me mwah, mwah, mwah. i love you thank you so much my return subscribers you guys are the original after you guys on social media where where would the good ones be you are here and i appreciate you and there's nothing anybody can do about it i love you thank you so much and i appreciate you from here to you thank you so i saw this uh, post <clears throat> this post is from this uh, man named called sam amadi sam amadi said screamed out where everybody will hear you too you know scream inside his house he came out and screamed on social media he said ah what's going on here what is going on here he said this is amadi the volatinable become the president of federal republic of nigeria all i am seeing i said i see many criminals i see many criminals going into asoroko i am watching he said what are all these criminals going inside asoroko to do mr sam my darling let me answer you the the answer because when you have a criminal in the head everybody on that will be criminals everybody everybody he said i have never seen a thing like this before that everybody that is going inside this asorok to see this INEX elect president they are all criminals their names are all in efcc every one of them there their names are everywhere they are being a <clears throat> he, he said i've never seen a thing like this so he's kind of a lot in nigerians and say nigeria so make you not see what i'm seeing you know see what i'm seeing that everybody that is going into, into this asoro it has never been this bad it has never been like this before that every one of them that is going there that they are all criminals every one of them but i i, I use didn't you guys see um asari dokobo i see asari dokobo is he not a criminal is he not a thief he came out and swear to us that you see this oil i'm on i'm on uh, it's in my hand it's in my hand and when a criminal is in the office oh you guys need to when people tell you who they are you believe them when a criminal is in the office and everybody there is criminals <laughs> we are in big purple did you see how they caught a vessel that is carrying oil and they blew that vessel up they told us they told us that they saw the vessel and they stopped it and a couple of years ago they saw the vessel and they uh, uh, they stopped it and it kept changing like a chameleon it come with jen today the next year it will come with grace the next uh, 10 years it, will, it keep changing and coming to collect oil but they forgot to tell us that there's nobody that will believe that rubbish they forgot to tell us that every ship every boat that come into anybody's country to come especially where there's oil to collect any oil that it, it has some numbers that you have to write it's under control so the only people that is seeing all these things that is happening is the government it's the government that know the people that are stealing the oil and they they said they saw it 10 years ago uh, and they they detained it. they detained the the car the thing the ship the ship disappear and they think we are stupid the same way when they see you catch them with money nigeria money that they steal they say uh, 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 um, a snake has swallowed it the whole ship just disappeared in the ocean without anybody doing anything to it they paid themselves they, they and when these ships leave, they don't just leave and go behind my house. No, they are not carrying these ships with a bucket. They are not carrying it with a bucket. They are not carrying it with a cup. Carry it in their head and say, Ngwa, Ngwa, let us go. Ngwa, let us go. Then, this, they are carrying it with ship. They will come to where the oil is. And then they will carry it in 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 big 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 and move away the rich people will move away 
when they refuse to pay common common thirty thousand to Nigerians that are going to work, they refuse to pay them thirty thousand. A bag of rice is a forty something thousand. So the minimum wage you cannot even buy a bag of rice. And these people told us that oh, okay, we caught them again. They've been going back and forth. They've been crooking around. Now we caught them again. After investigation, we will destroy it. Before we could close our eyes and open it, they destroyed it. They went up and threw something in it and destroyed it and blew it up. So when you destroy a ship, you said you would do investigation. In. Where are you going to get evidence that you will use to show people? The only thing here is they will use those little, little people that are carrying their own in the bucket. Hmm? They will use them as a scapegoat. They will put every one of them inside that ship because they did not show us what they did with those ship before they blew it up. You will not be surprised that they will put all the people, all the small, small people that are doing their dirty job for them. And that's what serves them right to. Because if you allow these people that have money to be using you, you know yourself that when you are caught, that they will delete you so that you will not call the, their name. I think what they did is bring... I will not be surprised. I will not be surprised if I hear that the small, small people that are doing their dirty job for them are inside that bush when they blow... Inside that uh, ship when they blow it. I will not be surprised. There's nothing that these people cannot do. They blew it up in the crocro eyes. And then they come out oh, and tell us that they have blown it up. And they said they are doing investigation. It's going to. It is the rich people. It is the rich people that are stealing Nigerian oil and making Nigerians suffer. And then they come out and tell us, eh, we are doing investigation. How do you do investigation when, when you, like this cop now, you uh, committed crime. This cop committed crime. This cop committed crime. And I said, I will investigate what made this cop commit the crime that he committed. Then, from behind, I break the cop. I break it in pieces. You be like, I thought you said you are doing investigation. So how did you break this cop? So where are you going to get evidence again to do? Because they are the rich people that are doing all the things. It's not from any other place. It is them. So it will be easier and cheaper for them to destroy the evidence than to keep it for you to come and start poking nose and saying, ah, who is this? Who is your boss? Who is your this? So to cut that, because they have the money in Boku, if they lose that one, it will not matter. And guess what? Why they are not smart? That's why it will be said all of you will be going to school. Why they are not smart? It did not occur to them that that thing that they exploded then that it has oil. And it will leak inside the water. It will affect a lot of things. It will affect the ship. It will affect the human beings that live that around there. They did not think about that because they didn't go to school. Guess what? When Peter B gets in there, you will go to school or you lose your job. If you ever want to work for the government, that's why they are working with everything they have to make sure that they're going to stay there. The rich people want to continue to sit on us and make us suffer. God go punish you now, well, well. God go punish you now. God go shame all of you, well, well. Somebody will be will get in the office and bring your paper out right here in the open. Last week they are asking Ahmed Obolatinubu. Bring us the, the Abacha loot. How the money that came in. Give us the paper. We are not saying that it is you that, that, that did it. Mm -mm. Just give us the paper. Let us figure out what they did with all the Abacha loot that came. You think they will give that? They will not give that now. Whatever remaining, they will carry. And now that they are smelling a little bit that the, this court might give take them away. Because they have started saying... Oh, no, you don't have to take us out now. We are doing a great job here. We are doing a great job. Just leave us here to continue do, uh, doing whatever. 
They from now, from the day one that they came, these people told us that they have saved 400 million or 400 billion from the oil subsidy that they removed. And then they turn around and collected, oh Jesus, collected 800 billion from the. Uh, 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 when I say like this, my my head stands up. My head, my head start. We start hurting. We start hurting how wicked these people can be. And then my question, my question to these people that call themselves lawmakers, that they got a eight hundred billion, and the people in the house they gave you guys seventy billion. On top of the 114 uh, percent that you guys uh, raise yourself up, I've never seen people that uh, people will hire, like I hire you now to come and work for me. And every day you will increase your money by yourself without me knowing. That's what Nigerian leaders are doing. You increase your money, then they got the money, then they are, I gave you 70 billion that you have, that you have done what? You just you just started last uh, uh, last month and they are awarding you with extra 70 million so that whatever they bring you guys will sign then my question is the labor party people that won the election on that labor party in the house in the senate or whatever i beg let me ask maybe maybe i'm asking a wrong question when they are passing all these laws when they are passing, bringing all these things, and you guys are saying amen, it's like you guys have joined them in a criminality that Obi is trying to come and take out. When they brought this bill, at least you guys are many in the house enough to start screaming out and say, no, we are not going to accept 800 million on top of the one that we have. We are not. Let us debate it. You guys just sat down. Approve it overnight. As soon as it's coming out of Ahmed Bolatino Buzumat. You guys just say, yeah, let us sign it for him. So the Labour Party people that were there, you guys are now OES member. Just remember that you have only four years old. Four years. And after four years, Nigerians are counting for you what you are doing. You mean... People went and blow the, the ship up in the ocean of Nigeria without any question asked, without any investigation. And I met Obola Tinubu, are you guys telling me that he did not know anything about this oil or this ship blown? He did not know. Ah, ah now you guys are deceiving yourself now. Because he's a criminal now. Criminals will be got criminals. He probably the one of the cabals that own those ships. That's why he ha they have to give order. The big people will have to give order and said destroy those ships. And the Senate and the House ha saw all these things. They didn't come and debate. They didn't come and say, let us see what is happening in our country. They jumped up and started signing for eight hundred billion dollars, or for I met a Bola Tinubu that's trying to get as much money as he can get, as he can get now, so that it, when they take him out, he said, "Oh well, I have enough." They approved it without question asked. So Labour Party people, <laughs> we are watching you guys. You see this, these two eyes, it's open, and we are watching all of you. It's so sad. So my lovely people, I saw those things. I said, let me come and tell you guys. The oil thing that was blown, it is the rich people that, that owns it. And it's them that blown it. Because when they start doing investigation, they will start knowing the names of people that own them. And both those police and the army that are doing that interview right there, they are part of the problem. They are part of the problem. They know everything. They paid them off. They said, okay, we're going to destroy it because there's nothing else that we can do. And they agreed and they continue to sit on Nigerians as always. So my people, I saw that. I thought I'd come and let you guys know. Mwah, from me to you. Thank you so much for watching.